my hair looks great right now don't have to tell me just look at it <laughs> um so right now i'm in one of my short-term rentals and the sheets <laughs> this lovely pile of white majority white linens has driven myself and the cleaners nuts in the sense that when you do laundry everything's white it's really hard to differentiate which one's for the queen bed, which one's for the full bed, which one's for the twin bed, which one's for the king bed. So it's gonna save a lot of time by marking them by size. I have some iron on patches that I'm going to differentiate each uh, bed size by color. So whenever we do laundry, we can quickly see the color um, and then put the fitted sheet, the flat sheet and the pillowcases and the duvet cover all together in like a little packet and then from there the cleaners could just grab and go every time i do a wash it's going to be easily known which sheets are for what bed so i'm going to try it out see if it's a good, good idea or a bad idea but gotta try so i get my little patch i go ahead and i put it down in the corner right there just like that lay this down here so it's going to be going for 40 seconds and I just let it rock but this is honestly way easier than the method that I did before this and that was um, I would get each tag and I would sew so like for example the full bed had a uh, pink like sewing pink thread on the sticker and that did take a very long time so and as I like bought new sheets because things would get stained or get ruined it was just like, oh, I do not feel like sewing right now. So I get to watch alone on Netflix while I'm doing this. And I have a little snack. And it has been 40 seconds. <laughs> so from here, flip it over. Do a little flip -a rooney Lay it down in the back. And you just leave it there for another 30 to 40 seconds. But let it cool down and make sure that it doesn't peel off in the corners and you're good to go so i have everything now color coordinated by king queen full bed and twin bed so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the little packets for the cleaners so that they can quickly grab and go they have five packs that they could just flip throughout the week and then i know that i have some time to do laundry and whatnot by the time uh those five or four packs are done with we're going to go with, for example, the full. The sheet, I grab the top sheet and the duvet cover. For this bed, I do four standard size pillowcases. So one, two, three, and four. And then I'll show you I have bins that are laid out king, medium, twin. I have, you can see over here, already two packs. I separate each pack by a bright microfiber towel so that I put it on top. And when the cleaners are looking through, they would have this on top, for example. They know that this is the start of one pack. They're looking, they're looking, and then they see this green. They know that's where the packet ends. They just grab it and they go to make the bed. So that's how I organize my sheets so that it's quick for the cleaners and they have a good amount in case there's like a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back night. 